I identify organizations that um, value talent, raw talent above all else, or that believed in everyone's ability to improve and develop and value that. In our recent work, we've actually gone in and asked the people. We asked employees in uh, different Fortune 500 organizations, oh, what mindset does your company have? Is it a company that believes in fixed talent and worships it? Or is it a company that believes everyone can develop their abilities and really provides these opportunities? And uh, what we found was there was remarkable consensus within organizations about um, which mindset their organization has. And more important, it, it made a big difference. In this research, we found that employees in fixed mindset, let me go the other way, that employees in growth mindset organizations said they felt more empowered by the organization and more committed to it. Whereas their counterparts in the more fixed mindset organizations uh, kind of had one foot out the door waiting for the next highest bidder. But to me, uh, what was even more interesting is that the people in growth mindset organizations said their companies valued creativity, innovation, and they really put their money where their mouth was. So if you took a, a reasonable risk and it didn't work out, they said, my company has my back. In the more fixed mindset organizations, the employees said, yeah, the company talks innovation and creativity, but if things don't work out, someone pays the price. And finally, the managers in the growth mindset organizations said um, that their employees had tremendous potential to rise within the organization, become stars, join management. Um, whereas, and I love this finding, because in the fixed mindset organization, they're worshiping the talent and hiring the talent and paying to keep the talent. But a few years later, they're not saying there are a lot of people who have potential to rise in the organization. Great question. Uh, I worked with a major league baseball team. So I'll talk about that first um, to devise questions uh, that they could ask to potential draft choices. Uh, one was, how'd you get so good at baseball? And some of them said, well, you know, I was born with this natural talent. And others said, well, my father and I, we worked at it constantly. We had a batting cage in the backyard. He filmed me, we watched the tapes and so forth. Um, another one was um, thinking about on-field success in the major leagues. What do you think you'd have to change? And some of them said things like, I'll have to get used to the cheering of larger crowds. <laughs> and others said, maybe everything. I'll have to take all my skills to a new level. It's a whole new ball game. So this knowledge that you might have to really reorganize, redefine yourself and build new skills is really important. Here are some ideas. So first, um, if you have a choice of something safe versus a challenge, take the challenge. If you hit an obstacle, try to interpret it in a growth mindset way. So what can I learn from this? What can I do next? As I mentioned before, if you see someone who's better than you, go learn from them. Uh, so those are a set of behaviors you can start doing. In addition to, as I also mentioned before, monitoring those fixed mindset triggers. It's a journey that one is always on. It's not ever the case that you've arrived at a full permanent growth mindset. It's something how that you have to um, look at all the time. So listen to that voice in your head. 
at the trigger points. I was never good at that. Whoa, was, did I say that? So listen to the, that voice. It's constantly running in your head. Um, the first few weeks that you embark on this journey, don't push yourself to exhibit any growth mindset characteristics. Just listen to that voice that says, don't try this, you might look foolish. You made a mistake. If people knew that, they wouldn't look at you in the same way. Uh, that person's better than me, I hate them. <laughs> Just whatever that voice is saying in your head, listen to it. Or when you see someone doing something that looks effortless, are you thinking, oh, they're just brilliant and talented? Uh, catch yourself thinking that. Or someone who's struggling, um, do, are you thinking, oh, they're not really good at that? I would say the very first step is the first few weeks, just listen to that fixed mindset voice. It's there. We all have it. And if you don't hear it, it will rule your behavior.